Good morning you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am just finishing up my matcha latte from this morning and today I thought I would do kind of like a day in my life vlog, take you through what a typical day kind of looks like for us. We are still in a really hard lockdown here in this area where we live which has different rules than Germany as a whole. We live in Bayern which is like a region of Germany and they are really really strict so all restaurants and shops have been closed since December actually since November the shops closed in December and all kind of like services and stuff as well so nail salons hair salon where I get my eyebrows done my facialist all of those things have been closed and I think it's going to be closed for about another month or so which is so crazy but it is what it is the point is that there hasn't been much going on here you know we're just staying busy with work and self-care and the new apartment of course which if you guys have been keeping up with my other vlogs it's coming together so so nicely so yeah i thought i would take you through a day in my life as you guys saw from this morning i did my morning routine i had my warm water with lemon journal did my workout made breakfast and all of that and i thought that i would start this video by answering a few questions that i got from my last video that i posted last sunday which is the video where i talked about my chest and all of the changes and the journey that i've been through with that if you guys haven't seen that video yet i will have it linked down below one of the most asked questions was how I'm doing like how I'm healing when did I do it as well a lot of you guys asked me about that so it's actually been almost four weeks by the time you guys see this video so it is now three and a half weeks and I'm feeling really really good I'm I feel like I'm basically back to normal I'm back to working out as well but of course just very gently like I'm not doing anything crazy and I'm also not doing anything to upper body focus so when I'm doing my Pilates and stuff I focus more on lower body and as you saw this morning I did a standing chair series it was one from Melissa Wood Health and that was really really good and again just like very easy on the upper body I also just want to say thank you so much again to everyone who sent in emails comments messages DMs I have literally read every single one of them I spent so many hours getting back to you guys even to those who I couldn't get back to know that I have read your messages and I really really appreciate it it's also been so amazing to hear your personal stories and know what you've been through when it comes to this topic it just blows my mind how many women have been in the same position as I have or who have had similar feelings and thoughts about their chest and I just think it's just so crazy and this is why I think it's important to talk about it so that you don't feel like you're alone or like something's wrong with you you know we all have these kinds of thoughts and feelings and at the end of the day like I said in my video it's really about learning to love ourselves accept ourselves and be kind and gentle with ourselves our bodies are truly so incredible I do also want to mention kind of like a mind shift technique that I heard a few months ago that really really stuck with me basically it was about body confidence and how you see yourself and how we can get caught up on like a certain body part and criticize ourselves like oh my chubby legs or my you know not toned tummy or my whatever hair you know whatever it is that affects you we all have our little things instead of like putting an adjective like that in front of your body part. Change that from my flabby stomach to my human stomach. Change it from my not so tight chest to that is a human chest. So just putting human in front of the body part, it really shifts it and it stops me from thinking about it like an adjective, you know, like something aesthetic to something so much more real and grounded and true. Cause you know, we compare ourselves and we we say if my body part doesn't look like this ideal that we have in our head we then put a bad adjective towards it the fact about being human is that we are all different so again taking yourself out of that comparison mode and instead just switching that to a more true and beautiful and whole perception is so powerful just a little kind of mind shift thing that really helps me and maybe it will be applicable to you guys as well I don't know if you guys can tell from the video but it is snowing so much today and it looks like it's gonna stay as well it's building up 
quite quickly but it is so so pretty so we might go out a little bit later and just enjoy the outside and get out a little bit i am in our office right now i'm gonna get some work done i have emails to get back to we are also developing a new product for our brand nourish 3 which is almost done so i have some things to do for that as well and then it is also wednesday today so i'm going to be publishing my new video for today Okay, so it is now a little bit later. I am in the midst of making us some lunch. I'm gonna make us some salads with some leftovers from last night. I'll show that to you guys in a bit. And then here I'm making a salad dressing. I've got a little bit of olive oil in here. I'm gonna put some apple cider vinegar, the juice of this lemon. I'm going to crush some garlic in there too. I'm also gonna put in some oregano and about a tablespoon of tahini. And I'm just going to shake that up in this salad dressing shaker thing <laughs> i got this from amazon and i literally use it almost every single day it's so good and whilst i'm doing all of this i'm going to pre-cook some hard-boiled eggs we like to keep these in the fridge for salads mo likes to have these as a snack and i just want to show you guys what i use because this little thing is so good it's also from amazon as you can see we use this a lot and it's so easy to use it makes the eggs perfectly hard-boiled without you even really thinking about it and it comes with this little measuring cup and i don't know if you guys can tell from the camera but there are little lines on it so you decide how hard you want your hard-boiled eggs and how many eggs you have as well and then you just put enough water to meet that line then you just pour that in turn it on and it will steam the eggs perfectly just received a package from cold beauty i ordered some things about a week ago and i'm so excited for this because i ran out of my drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream and i've had to use some other things in the meanwhile and i feel like my skin has been breaking out because of it my skin is just so sensitive so i'm so excited that i have this one again and do you guys see the size of this i think it's basically like double their original i also got this reviving aura mist from keys soul care which is alicia keys's new skincare line and i love sprays like this for before i get into bed i like to spray it on my pillow and then i also got another aesop reverence aromatique hand wash this is my absolute favorite it has little scrubby beads inside so you really feel like you are properly washing your hands and it gives you a nice exfoliation as well we are heading out now into the snowy snowy weather we want to get out on a little walk mo you look very cozy <laughs> I was gonna wear my Uggs, but I feel like I'm just gonna get wet. So I've put on my hunter boots. Are these waterproof? Yes. They are, right? Yeah. They are Uggs too. Mm -hmm. I actually got those for Mo's birthday. That was one of my gifts for him. And they're really cozy on the inside, but they're actually waterproof. <laughs> with us but i don't feel like it's helping <laughs> i mean i was holding the umbrella i know but now the can. people think like i'm not holding an umbrella he holds it like that and half of my uh, face the thing is i'm much is bigger like, like i'm taller than you but you have to hold it so that i don't get wet okay despite it being very cold and very snowy it's actually really nice 
to get out, right? Yeah. So this is the place where all the people in the summer lay and chill. And now it's winter wonderland. This is one of my favorite parts in all of Munich. And it's just gorgeous. Like in the summer, in the spring, now it's obviously winter. And it's just so stunning. I love coming here. So fancy! We are now back home. I've just had a really nice shower. The walk was really nice, but I was freezing when we came home. So I had a nice steamy hot shower, did my skincare routine, put my pajamas on, and now I'm ready to make some dinner. So tonight I'm making a barbecue chicken, sweet potato, broccoli, medley kind of dish. I actually found this recipe on Pinterest. I'll pop in a picture of what it looks like here. And I thought it sounded so good. Something a little bit different than what we usually have. And what's really cool about this recipe is that it's a one pot dish and everything kind of cooks together. Okay, so the verdict on this dish is really good. Mo likes it. Mmm. Guys, honestly, Annie is shocking. Shocking. Shocking me all the time. <laughs> she comes up with new dishes all the time, and I'm like, wow, wow. Well, this I found on Pinterest, but I'm happy that you like it. I think it's nice to do these things like when we're in quarantine and we're, you know, restaurants are closed. It's nice to just have like different types of things to eat to keep it interesting, you know? Yeah, because like during COVID, like you actually at some point you just, you don't want to order all the time outside, you want to eat at home. Everyone has his five cooking dishes that he does. Yeah. But at some point you can't eat them either, you know? It's like over. Thinking about new recipes, I love that. Yeah, yeah, me too. We just needed something a little different. chill out. I am going to have my hot chocolate which looks so good. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I hope that you're all having a really nice day and I will see you in the next one. Bye, Bye. guys!